Hey, what's up everybody? Just wanted to talk about uh, all of the life and the day in the life of the software engineer videos out there. Um, if anybody's watched any of these or watched mine, um, sometimes you'll see some pretty unrealistic things for junior developers, people spending a bunch of time playing games or people spending a bunch of time, you know, going to the gym and walk around, stuff like that. Yeah, there's some of that, but in reality, it's just like every other job. You have deadlines, you have coworkers. Um, after you get settled into your job, you probably have a pile of meetings that you got to go to every week, um, which is fine. You know, meetings are important. Sometimes you get sucked into stuff that you don't uh, necessarily... Um, need to be involved in heavily you just kind of need to be there and listen but that's just like every other job every other office job um, corporate meetings you need to go into and hear what's going on with the company stuff like that but for the most part you're gonna go into work um, you're gonna sit down you're gonna look through your emails make sure that there isn't anything important that anybody needs for you check your slack messages or um, whatever client you're using there and then um, probably have some sort of ticket you're working on or project you're working on, write some code, um, check that in, then go to a meeting, maybe go to another meeting after that, maybe write a few emails, respond a few emails, then go back to your code. Uh, at some point, maybe you get pulled into um, uh, some sort of uh, maybe a pull request or somebody wants to ask you some questions about something. Um, maybe you get some ad hoc phone calls here and there write a little bit more code and then at the end of the day go home uh, it's not going to work have free coffee go to play foosball go to lunch that eh, you're not doing that you gotta write code you gotta have your one-on-ones talk with your boss uh, basically do your everyday stuff that you're probably doing at your current office job if you're in a current office job. If you're not in a current office job, if you've never worked one before, that's pretty much it. You you have uh, varying meetings and projects and stuff like that, that that you gotta go to and be involved in and there's a lot of communication. Um, and this is for this is for day in the life uh, of software engineer, people that actually have to go to office. There's a lot of people that, that don't necessarily have to uh, go into the office they work remotely or something like that but uh, I don't know if there's a lot of junior positions like that I suspect there's not um, yeah and I would say that if you are a, if you want to be a junior software engineer and you're trying to get that first position don't try to go for something that's fully remote you want that communication it's way easier to talk with somebody uh, that's sitting over your shoulder to write out code, to fix stuff, to find out you know where you're at and what you're trying to do. It's way easier, it's way faster, it's so much harder to have to copy and paste code and try to figure stuff out that way. It's, it's, it's better for your career if you actually have to go into an office, especially as a junior. Anyway, have a good one.